Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Exodus chapter 25 verses 10 through 16. It reads as follows. Have them make an ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits long, a cubic and a half wide, and a cubic and a half high. Overlay it with pure gold, both inside and out, and make a gold molding around it. Cast four gold rings for it and fasten them to its four feet, with two rings on one side and two rings on the other. Then make poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. Insert the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark to carry it. The poles are to remain in the rings of this ark. They are not to be removed. Then put in the ark the tablets of the covenant law, which I will give you. I walked by the TV one day and it was on a random channel where they had some sort of history or documentary, documentary, discovery type show on where the hosts were trying to find these hidden treasures of the world that had been lost to generations. And of course they face peril and danger to find these far off hidden lost treasures. On this particular episode, I heard the words Ark of the Covenant. And of course I stopped. These particular hosts were trying to find the Ark, trying to find the Ark of the Covenant, which is probably the most holy relic of the world. As of now, no one knows where the Ark of the Covenant is to our knowledge, or maybe they haven't revealed if they know where the Ark of the Covenant is. And there has been so much, so much, so much chatter and discussion and movies and books and films and just everything about the Ark of the Covenant, where it is, find it, who may have it. I even had a seminary professor just sort of say that they believed, you know, there was chatter among the theologians that the Ark of the Covenant may be in Ethiopia, but no one knows for sure. If you'll allow me, I just sort of think that there are some things that are just better left alone. They are just better left hidden, better left untouched, unaddressed, not found. They are just sort of better left alone. Given our human nature and just sort of how we are and what we do, I think that the Ark of the Covenant is definitely one of those things, but there are just some things that are just better left alone. Because if God revealed where the Ark of the Covenant is, on this planet, unless he took it up to heaven, if he reveals where the Ark of the Covenant is by human nature, we would most certainly have a war over it, fight over it, argue, we would worship it, we would replicate it, we would try to sell it, we would try to buy it, we would do a host of things that weren't meant for it to happen, that weren't meant surrounding the Ark of the Covenant. We would just actually just sort of take it for our own uses and not for what the Lord meant it. And as we already discussed, the Ark housed the Ten Commandments and in between the two cherub that covered the Ark was the presence, was God's presence, that's where he dwelt. But even though it's been lost, God hasn't left us without that replication. He hasn't left us without what he initially provided because he gave us the Word of God. He gave us the Word of God, which houses, yes, not only the Ten Commandments, but all of his other laws and all of his grace, all of his instructions. And not only that, he gave us his presence. Every single believer on this planet, we have the presence of God living on the inside of us. We have the Holy Spirit. So even though He, we don't know where the Ark of the Covenant is, what he initially provided, he still gave us. People will never probably stop looking for the Ark of the Covenant. And it's up to God. He is sovereign. He is in control whether he wants to reveal where it is or not. That's up to him. But let's remember that there are just some things, the Ark of the Covenant included, but there are just some things that honestly may just be better left alone because of our human nature. And this goes for small things up to the big things. Small things such as arguments, having the last word, just sort of getting in there and wanting to make sure you're right or gossip, other people's secrets, getting into other people's business, or sin, things that would tempt us, knowing ourselves and knowing what tempts us and what we should stay away from, or even holy things like the Ark of the Covenant, Noah's Ark, the Ten Commandments. Friends, let's be okay with just not having to know everything, to be right all the time, to just sort of conquer everything. Let's be okay with just sort of leaving some things, whether big or small, alone and trusting God. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that there are some things that are better left alone, Lord. We don't have to share other people's business. We can leave that alone. We don't have to be right all the time and get the last word in for the argument. We can leave that alone. We don't have to sort of meddle and kind of make sure we're in every single situation and make sure we know everything and control everything. We can let that alone. God, help us to remember, God, that there are just some things, Lord, that just because of our human nature, Lord, we should stay away from God. Sin, temptation, just 
all sorts of idolatries. God, just help us to remember, Lord, that we can just let it go, leave it alone for our own personal good. Just kind of let you have that, God, and just trust you in the process, Lord. We thank you, God, that you are sovereign, Lord. And if you choose to reveal things, God, you will, and it will be for good, we pray, God. If you choose to keep things hidden, Lord, we will trust you with that too, Lord, because we know that will also be for good, Lord. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys. You guys have a great day. God loves you very much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.